So the GLP-1 receptor agonists um, are uh, relatively recent um, drugs for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. They have very broad effects. Um, there was a lot of interest in the possibility that they might reduce cardiovascular risk because they are associated with weight loss. Uh, they are associated with uh, modest reductions in blood pressure um, and really outstanding glucose lowering. Um, furthermore, in animal models and detailed sort of in vitro uh, studies, there are a variety of mechanisms in um, atherobiology that are impacted by these drugs. Um, and, uh, you know, as an example, it's been so shown to have effects on, um, on plaque stability. And so there was a lot of interest in the possibility that they may be associated with, uh, with cardiovascular benefit. With the prior track record of drugs that had great evidence for the possibility of cardiovascular benefit not panning out, we were very interested in cardiovascular outcome studies. The first cardiovascular outcome study conducted with a GLP-1 receptor agonist uh, uh, came out um, in 2016, involved a GLP-1 receptor agonist called Lixisenatide. Um, and Lixisenatide is an analog of Exenatide, which was the first GLP-1 uh, receptor agonist. Lixisenatide is administered once a day, um, but it doesn't have a 24-hour duration of action. And the study that was conducted, the ELIXA trial, involved patients um, who had recently survived a hospitalization for acute coronary syndrome, and they used a four-point MACE endpoint, so heart attack, uh, stroke, cardiovascular death, or hospitalization for unstable angina. So a little bit different um, than the other cardiovascular outcome trials uh, we've been talking about. They showed no evidence of harm uh, from lixisenatide uh, with regards to cardiovascular outcomes, but also no evidence um, of benefit. Um, and so the community was a little bit disappointed on the background of that hope um, um, that there wasn't greater benefit uh, from, uh, from lixisenatide.